Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about alcohols as terse carboxylic acids, but we will focus with alcohols first. Alcohol is the most famous uh, functional group in organic chemistry since uh, it has many functions. Alcohol impact on our body starts from the moment we take our first sip while an occasional glass of wine with dinner isn't a cause for concern. The cumulative effects of drinking wine, beer, or spirit uh, can take its toll, such as heart damage, liver damage, pancreatitis, fatigue, birth defects, thinning bonds, diabetes complications, malnutrition, and many, many other things. Okay, this is the pictures before and after uh, the alcoholism uh, occur in a people. Okay, you can see before and then after. So uh, let's take a look deeper about, about alcohol uh, through the eyes of chemistry. So in this uh, video, we will learn about uh, this content, what, how to produce alcohols, properties, types, and reactions of alcohols. There are several reactions of alcohols and you should uh, memorize all of them. First of all, it's about how to produce alcohol. You know that alcohols that use as wine, yeah, are made from fermentations of glucose, and yeah, you can consume the alcohol. But uh, in this video, we will learn deeper about uh, the chemistry way about how to produce alcohol other than fermentation. These are from alkin from halogen alkene and uh, from carboxylic acids, aldehyde, aldehyde or ketone. I hope you still remember about how to make alkene from, uh, how to make alcohol from alkene since uh, it already appeared in the previous videos. All starts from alkene. You know that alkene is uh, an inert organic compound Okay, let's say we have methane. To make this compound become more reactive, we should uh, use a free radical mechanism, free radical substitution, okay, to change one of hydrogen from alkene, in this case is ethene, okay, to form ethyl chloride. Yeah, at the chloride or uh, chloroethene, this is from halogen alkene. Yeah, and to change this halogen group into alcohol group, you can use nucleophilic substitutions with NaOH, AQ. Okay, this appear in chapter 17, uh, chapter 16 videos about halogen alkene. Yeah, to produce. Uh, alcohol from halogen alkene. Okay, then uh, let's see how to make uh, alcohol from alkene. Alkene has double bond functional group and it can undergo electrophilic additions with steam in the presence of concentrated S2SO4 or S3PO4 with temperature 330 and this pressure. Okay, you can see that hydrogen will add, add, add this carbon and OH will add to this carbon. Yeah, because this is a symmetrical alkene, no matter uh, where the hydrogen goes, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, to DC or to DC. This produced ethanol. Okay, and then the third way uh, to form alcohol is by reduction from carboxylic acid such as ethanoic acid. Okay, ethanoic acid or ethanol. Or propanone. Yeah, this all can be reduced by 
uh, reducing agents such as LILS4, lithium aluminum hydride in dry effort, or NABS4. Okay, to form alcohol. Okay, this is a reduction process. So the source of hydrogen is from the reducing agent. Yeah, uh, we will discuss uh, deeper about this next at the next part. Yeah. Okay, this is the result. Okay, so once again, uh, there are three ways to form alcohols from alkene, from halogen alkene, and from oxidate, uh, the more oxidated uh, compounds such as carboxylic acids, aldehyde, or ketone by uh, reduction process. Okay. Let's answer this question. Okay, what's the answer? Okay, you know that the function of of T is alkene. Yeah, this is alkene. This is halogen alkene. And this is alcohol. For students, make the following statements. W, all the atoms in a molecule of compound T lie in the same plane. Okay, so this is wrong since uh, you know that uh, we have sp2 carbons here and sp3, sp3 carbons here. They absolutely lies on the different plan, okay? So, this is wrong. X, carbon V contains only one chiral, is it? Okay, let's see, this is chiral, this is chiral. So there are two chiral centers, so this is wrong. Step one is an electrophilic addition region. Step one, yes, since it is alkene, it's undergo electrophilic addition mechanism. And then step two is a nucleophilic substitution region. Yes, it is, because it's halogen alkene. It undergo the perfect substitution, so Y and Z are correct. So D is the answer for this question. So you can see uh, we talk about alcohol, but it's related to other functional groups that we already learned before. Okay, properties of alcohol. Alcohols are organic molecules containing OH group. Yeah, with the general formula Cn is 2n plus 1 OH. Yeah, this is uh, if you see that Cn is 2n plus 2 is alkene, yeah, such as CS4. So alcohol is produced if we remove this H, well, 1H, okay, to form Cn is 2n plus 1. And then change it to for its group. Yeah, that's the identity of alcohol. So CN is to N plus one OH. Okay, since it has all its group, yeah. Molecules of alcohol can make hydrogen bonds. And you know that hydrogen bonds is the is the strongest intermolecular forces uh, between organic compounds with the, in the covalent compounds. Okay, uh, so uh, you know that uh, it makes the alcohol compounds has a uh, quite high boiling point. Okay, and it can dissolve well in water. So uh, please remember that if you want to know that whether this compound dissolves or not dissolves in water. Just see, uh, can it make hydrogen bonds with water or not? Okay, and if it can make hydrogen bonds, it can dissolve well. Don't forget, uh, let's recall a little bit about hydrogen bonds. It is bond between the positive partial hydrogen with lone pairs of electrons of a very high electronegativity atom, such as F, O, or N. So these two requirements you fulfill 
if the if uh if you want to produce hydrogen bonds okay the partial positive hydrogen and the lone pairs electrons of an electronegative atom okay Let's try this uh, and pause the video while you're working. Okay, let's discuss. Ethanol has a boiling point at 78. And at this pressure, at this temperature, ethanol vapor does not perfectly obey the gas equations thought. And this is about ideal gas, right? What is the reason for this? Ethanol does not obey the ideal gas equation. Okay, let's see the reasons, the options. Okay, A, ethanol vapor is in equilibrium with ethanol liquid at 79. Is it um, explained about uh, the uh, about these properties, is it? I don't think so. Do you agree with me? Yeah, ethanol vapor is in equilibrium with ethanol liquid at 79. This is a correct, correct statement, but it does not uh, explain about the reasons of why ethanol behave not, not behave as an ideal gas. Okay. You know uh, that ideal gas uh, theory that uh, the molecules between gas yeah should not interact with each other yeah the volume is too far from the volume of container and uh, we assume there there are no interactions at all between the between the uh, gases uh, particles okay so if uh, options B appear there are intermolecular forces between the molecules of ethanol vapor. Okay, this is correct. Yes, yeah, since uh, this explains about why ethanol does not obey the ideal gas rules. Yeah, because there are intermolecular forces. They it form intermolecular forces between the molecules. Why? Since ethanol once again has uh, the capability to produce hydrogen bonds. So that's why the hydrogen bonds form. Yeah, the hydrogen bonds form. So Ethanol does not obey the ideal gas rules, which require that the particles should not interact with each other. Okay, the other options uh, not explained about uh, this. Uh, yeah, this question. So this is the answer. Okay, the third things that we will learn today is about types of alcohol. Alcohol can be divided into primary, secondary, and tertiary. So this is same like halogen alkene. This is depends on how or is group attached to the carbon. If this carbon attached to only one C or one R group, while the other H, this is primary. Okay, but if attached to 2R, this is secondary, and this is the tertiary alcohol. Under the understanding of uh, this classification is very important in oxidation process, okay, since they will uh, give uh, different compounds in oxidation process. So please remember about the primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Okay, let's answer this. Okay, let's answer this. What's your answer? Okay, uh, this. Uh, molecule has formula, molecule formula C5H12O. H12 
has a branch carbon skeleton and a secondary alkyl functional group. Okay, so we should uh, first make the structure, yeah, the structural formula of X, which has a branch carbon skeleton. Okay, let's do this. We have C5, so if you want to make the branch, we should start from four C's and one S branch. We can put at the second carbon, right? Okay, like this. After this, we should put the OH group since it is alcohol. And it is said that a secondary alcohol functional group. So let's put where should be here, right? Okay, is there any other possibilities of how to make a branch secondary alcohol functional group? Just try one, two, three, four. If I put this OH group here, it changes to tertiary, right? So this is wrong. If I move, I if I move this bridge, let's say to this position, get this OH. Still, it is a tertiary. If I change it to OH here, this becomes a primary. Okay, so there is no other possibilities to. Yeah, to make uh, this requirement, this requirement structure. So only one. Okay, if I ask you what's the name for this compound? Okay, don't forget to make the longest gene. The long exchange should, uh, should include the C with OS span, with OS group. And you should remember to numbering the longest chain. You should remember that OS should attest to the uh, C, which has a low number. So you should start from this. Yeah. So OS group has the higher priority compared to an alkyl. So the name will be trimethyl, butane to all okay don't forget about naming